guys welcome back to the third part of the java essential training series so this video is going to be about java syntax and compilation so i want to talk about these two major things in java programming so let's get started all java code is defined in classes each source code file defines at least one java class that has the file extension java you can create these text files in any text editor although i will be using intellij idea for most of this course the compiler Java C compiles your text-based code into bytecode that can be interpreted by JVM and then Java command runs that code. Here's the classic hello world application. The name of the class is main, so it is defined in a text file named main.java. The file line is called package declaration. Java classes are typically organized in the packages. A package is globally unique string that typically starts with your domain name in deserve domain order. So my domain name is awaitsmirza.com. I would start my package string with com.awaitsmirza to ensure globally unique identifier. Then if there is more than one class named a main in any application, I can distinguish them using the package. And each source code file will contain one public class. The name of the class is main, that is identifier. And it implements a single method, also named a main. Notice that the method identifier uses an initial lowercase letter. A console application always has this main method. It always has the three keyword, public, static, and void. Public means that the method is available to entire application. Static means that this method can be called directly from the class a definition rather than from an instance of a class. A void means that the method doesn't return any value. A required main method must also receive an array of strings as an argument or parameters. It must be an array of strings but the name doesn't necessarily have to be argument. You can name it anything you like. Finally, the executable code is placed within the main method. The code is printing the string hello world to the console and it ends with semicolon, which is like a period. It means that at the end of statement, here are some critical Java syntax rule. Java is case sensitive. And all the identifiers must be unique within their scope. Because Java is case sensitive though, these three identifiers are variable names are seen to be different from each other. First name in a lowercase, first name with a camel case, and first name in all uppercase could represent three distinct variable or values. Also in Java, white space doesn't affect how your code is interpreted. For example, in Visual Basic and some other application, a line feed means that end of the statement. In Java, a line feed is just like a space and a tab character. All three of those types of characters are collapsed during the compilation process into a single bit of white space. And it's also up to you to indicate where a statement ends with a semicolon character. The code, for example, says printing the string to the console and the semicolon character is required to end the statement, the Java language implements a whole set of keywords that you should learn about. Keywords like for, while, assets, and other can be used as your variable names. If you, if you try to do that, the compiler will reject them. Again, names of the classes, method, variables, and so on are known as identifiers. And all the identifiers must start with the alphabet character or an underscore character so you can't use numbers you can't use other special characters class name always start with an uppercase character so my class start with an uppercase m but then can use other uppercase character as needed to make code readable methods variables and other members of the class always start with a lowercase character so that would be a method called a do something it start with a lowercase t and it receives an argument or parameters that start with a lowercase w. If you were to type these identifiers with uppercase character, your code will still work. Constants are always all uppercase letter. There is no constant keyword in Java. Instead, a constant is a static and final. Static means it, it's a member of a class and final meaning once it's been set. It cannot be changed. This is a string constant named first name that has a value of David because it's a constant first name in all uppercase character. There are some of the most critical syntax rule that you should know about you start to program with Java. But of course, I will talk about many others as the course goes along. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like the information, make sure to subscribe and hit down that thumbs up button. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.